We are looking at the HTML questions and answers generally asked in interview and uh, we have already taken some of these. Let us continue. Can you change the color of bullets? The bullet color like these bullets of an ordered list is always the same as that of the first character in a list item. So if you surround this li, this is for list, this tag is list for the list. And the first character with a set of font tags with the with the character attribute set, the bullet color and the first character will be a diff, will, will have a different color from the text. This is how you can do it. What are the limits of the text field size? The default size of text field is 13 characters, but if you include the size attribute, you can set the size value to be as low as 1. And the maximized size value will be determined by the browser width. So if the size attribute it, uh, you set it to 0, the size will be set to the default size of say 13 characters. Do this th tag always need to come at the start of a row or a, a column? See, this tr can easily be changed to a th tag. tr is table row, th is table heading. This causes the text contained within this th tag to be displayed as bold in the browser. So th means table heading and that will be bold. Although these th tags are mainly used for headings, so they do not need to be used ex exclusively for headings. What is the relationship between uh, the border and the rule attribute? relationship between the border and the rule attributes. Uh, default cell borders with say a thickness of one pixel, they are automatically added between cells if the border attributes is set to non-zero value. And in the similar manner, if the border attribute is not included, this default one, one pixel border appears if the rules at attribute is added to the table tab. What is marquee? You have seen some floating text from here to there, you know, from up to down, this direction or left to right. These are the marquee. This marquee allows you to put a scrolling text in a web page. And if you want to do this, place whatever text you want to appear scrolling with this marquee tags. You can also change the background color, the marquee, the font color, various things which you can do with the marquee. How do you create a text on a web page that will allow you to send an email when clicked? How do you create a text on a web page that will allow you to send an email when it, when it is clicked? So for that, uh, you we of course have to use this anchor tag and you change a text into a clickable link to send mail. For this, you have to write the reference like this, mail to command with the H reference tag. So A anchor H reference. This, this is the hyperlink reference. Here you have to write mail to then colon your mail address. And then whatever text you need to be clicked and finally this. Uh, are these BR tags the only way to separate section of uh, text? This BR tag is not the only one. You can have this HR also, you can have P, black, this block code. So the BR tag is uh, only one way to separate line of tag. We have other tags like P, paragraph tag and block code tag. Also, This also separates sections of the text. Are there instances where text will appear outside of the browser? By default, the text is wrapped to appear within the browser window. However, in case, if the text is a part of a table cell with defined window, the text could extend beyond the browser window. It may happen. How are active links different from normal links? See, the default color for the normal and active link is blue. But some browsers, they recognize an active link when the mouse cursor is placed over the, this link. Others recognize active link when the link has the focus. And those that don't have a mouse cursor over, that link is considered as a normal link. Do style sheet limit the number of new style definitions that can be included within the brackets? See, style sheet is for making or uh, making all the pages and look and feel continuous means 
consistent in all the pages. So style sheets do not limit the number of style definitions that can be included within the bracket for a given selector. Every new style definition, however, must be separated from the others by a semicolon symbol. Next is, can I specify a fractional weight such as 670 or 973 for font weight? Uh, implementation largely depends on the browser. In, in this HTML, HTML5, uh, most of the browser, they are not uh, yet um, well equipped. So, uh, you have to answer like this. But the standard does not support fractional weight values. This is important. This you should know. Acceptable value must end with two zeros. What is the hierarchy that is being followed when it comes to style sheets? Uh, if a single selector includes three different style definitions, the definition that is closest to the actual tag will take the precedence. Uh, the inline style takes priority over the embedded style sheets, which takes priority over the external style sheet. Just like, uh, you know, if somebody is in front of you, somebody is uh, calling you from uh, outside or somebody is um, phone uh, making call to you so whom whom you will give preference to the same thing goes here can several selectors with class names be grouped together you can define several selectors with the same style definition by separating them with the commas so this same technique also works for selector with class names what happens if you open the external CSS files in a browser? So if you uh, would try to open the external cascading style sheet file in a browser, the browser cannot open the file because the file has a different extension. So the only way to use an extern external CSS file is to reference it using a link tag within another HTML document. How do you make a picture into a background image of a web page? For that, it's uh, quite easy. You have to see the background. So, place a tag code after this head, you know, head tag as follows body, then background equal to images, image.gif. So, it will replace image.gif with the name of your image file. It means, whatever image file you have, we have just given an example. This will take the picture and make it the background image of your web page. What happens if the list style type property is used on a non-list element like a paragraph. So if the list style type property is used on a non-list element like a paragraph, the property will be ignored and has no effect on the paragraph. Okay. How do I create frames? What is frame set? What is or when it is appropriate to use frames? First is frames allow an author to divide the browser into multiple uh, area, say rectangular regions. So multiple documents can be displayed in a single window, each within its own frame. So graphical browsers allow these frames to be scrolled independently of each other and links can update the document displayed in one frame without affecting the others. So you can just add frames to an existing document. Rather you must create a frame set document. This, this is the answer of this. That defines a particular combination of frames. And then display your content documents inside those frames. The frame set document should also include alternative non-frame content in a no frames element. Next is when it is uh, or when is it appropriate to use frames? Frame can make navigation of site much easier. So if the main links to the site are located in a frame that uh, appears at the top or say along the edge of the browser and the content for those links can be displayed in the remainder of the browser window. What happens if the number of values in the rows or the columns attribute doesn't add up to 100%? The browser size is the frame relative to the total sum of the values. So if the calls attribute is say set to 100%, 200%, the browser displays two vertical frames, with the second being twice as big as the first. So this is quite related. Uh, we'll, we have taken these 50 questions. Let us uh, have some bonus questions also. What is a doc type and which one do you use or I use? According to HTML standards, each HTML document begins with a doc type declaration. 
that specify which version of HTML the document is using because we have HTML 3, 4, 5, now we are on 5. So many browsers use the document's doc type declaration to determine whether to use a strict, stricter, more standards oriented layout mode or to use a perks uh, layout mode that attempts to emulate the older, somewhat uh, older browsers. Can I nest tables within tables? Yes, you can always do that. A table can be embedded inside a cell in another table. So the main uh, this caveat about this nested table is that the older version of say some browser like Net Netscape have problems uh, with them if you don't explicitly close your TR, TD, TH, table row, table data and table head. And to avoid these problems, include closing tags for your TR, TD, TH, even though these HTML specifications don't require them. How do you align a table to the left or right? You can do like this, table align left property to float the table to the left, put left in place of right to do it on the right. How can I use tables to structure forms? See, small forms are sometimes placed within the uh, TD element within a table. So this can be useful for positioning a form related to another content, but it doesn't help position the form related elements related to each other. The table must be within the form and then use the table to position the form elements. How do I open a link into a new window? You have to add target is equal to underscore blank to your link statement. This is how you open a link into a new window. So these were the questions uh, which are generally asked in the interviews. Thank you so much. Take care.